Hey, brothers and sisters, I wanted to come on here and share a message with you all. And I've been seeing a lot of people become very depressed with those that they are watching and lending an ear to because they, they are stealing the hope, the joy, and the faith that they have in Christ because He is coming soon. I'm here to tell you to be mindful of who you are watching. Because in this time, as we see the world becoming darker, the enemy is going to try to influence people to try to steal your hope, to steal your joy, to steal the faith that you have in Christ. Because he is coming soon. Because the enemy knows that Christ is the only, only hope that we have. He is our blessed hope, as in Titus 2.13 says. Jesus is our blessed hope. He is our only hope of getting out of this dark and fallen world. But I'm also here to tell you, don't let anyone steal your crown. There is a reward for those who are watching and waiting and loving is appearing when he comes. Paul says in 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 8, says, Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. So there is a reward for those who are watching, waiting, and loving his appearing when he comes. So brothers and sisters, I implore you to be mindful of who you are watching. This attack has been going on since the days of Paul because Paul makes a statement of where there were people going around in his day saying that the resurrection had already passed and it was overthrowing the faith of some people. This is what he says in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 18. It says, Who concerning the truth have erred, saying that the resurrection has already and overthrow the faith of some people? Paul is telling Timothy, because in chapter 2, Paul is trying to make Timothy more grounded in the word and more grounded in the Lord because Timothy was going to take off where Paul, Paul left him, where Paul left the ministry. He wanted him to take over the ministry. So he's trying to prepare Timothy to take on this, this ministry, and he's preparing him for all the things that he was going to witness when he, was, when he would be out there preaching the gospel. And this is one of the things that he was telling them, that there is people out there that is trying to overthrow the faith of some people by saying that it's already passed. Well, in modern day, it's the same, same attack but different message, trying in the hope of reaching the same goal, which is to shake the faith of people, to make them lose hope, to make them lose that joy, to make them lose that faith that Christ is coming soon. To make them stop watching. To make them lose their hope that they have in Christ. Because he is coming soon. So in today's, today's message, uh, in this form of attack, is date, uh, firm date setting. Or those who are saying it's post-trib or mid-trib. There is so many different messages that the enemy is trying to construct to try to say that this is never going to happen or it won't happen or you're going to have to suffer which makes people lose that hope that they have in Christ to know that Christ will never let us suffer in the great tribulation. We are not appointed to the great tribulation. We are not appointed to anything. This is the time of Jacob's trouble, this is for Israel and those of the unbelieving world. This is not for the church to endure. So brothers and sisters, I'm here to tell you, if you are listening to people that says, the Lord told them so, that it's going to be on this date, and this date goes by, it does make you depressed. Now, I know there's people that says that, that this is fun, and, you know, I'm not casting any judgment on anybody who watches date, uh, people that date said or anything like that. There's no judgment in this. I'm speaking directly to those who are depressed because of, of all of this, who is 
depressed because this is an attack from the enemy. And we see that in scripture. This has been going on since the time of Paul because it's been going on since he revealed it to the church. And he's telling you to hold, hold on because there is going to come these, these people that's going to say these things to make you lose all of that, to make you lose that hope, to make you lose that joy. And Paul is telling you to hold on, to be grounded in the word, to be grounded in the Lord, to lean into him. Not, not to pay attention to just people only, but to be grounded in, in the word, to be grounded in the Lord. And there's been people who becomes depressed because after this date blows over, they, they've become so depressed, they give up on the rapture. They, they even say that they have given up so much and they don't feel like he's coming anymore because this date has done went by. And they've bought into what this person is saying. I'm telling you to be grounded in the word. When you're grounded in the word, that's when you have the full armor on. When you're grounded in the word and you're grounded in the Lord, you have that full armor on to where you can sit there and point out what is the truth and what is not. And nobody knows the exact date or hour and no. The Lord is not going to give them the exact date or hour of which he is coming. He is going to come at the perfect time and he's going to come on time. That is all that I can tell you. He is going to come at the perfect time and on time. But I'm here to tell you to hold on for the Lord's time is perfect and he will never, he will never be a second late. This is why the Lord makes a very good unction in Revelation chapter 3, verse 11. He says, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. And this is how this is how a person can take another person's crown. It's by, in, by imputing and sowing the seed of doubt, sowing the seed that there is no hope to getting out of here, that, there, that Christ is not going to come to way later, that we have so many years left, that, we, that he's going to come on this date, but the date blows over. Look, I'm telling you to hold on. He is coming soon. And he is not going to be a second late. He is coming on time. Brothers and sisters, I love you all. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. And remember... Share the good news because time is very short. That Christ died shedding his precious blood on the cross of Calvary, paying the sin debt once and for all for our past, present, and future sins. He was buried and on the third day he rose again. And if they believe that and trust Christ alone as their Savior, then they are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise until the day of redemption. Love you all and have an awesome rest of your day.